welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Siobhan and welcome. I'd love it if you went ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell. That way you'll miss out on any of my crazy wild story times or my eyeshadow tutorials. Also, before I forget, Happy New Year's. Hope everyone has their vision boards ready and you're ready to take on 2022 full force because I am. Anyways, I decided to create this lovely look using a lot of blues. I hadn't really used blues very often. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, then go ahead and stay tuned. Also, don't forget to look down below in the description box. I'll have all the products used in order to create this look. Along with my social media outlets, you can follow me there. And also my website, www.tolavishhair.com. Now, on to the tutorial. Okay, so first things first, we're going to pick up our scotch tape. I'm going to pull a little piece off and stick it on the back of my hand. And I'm sticking it on the back of my hand because I don't want it to be too tacky when I place it underneath the eye. The skin underneath the eye is a lot more sensitive and a lot more fragile. So I'm just going to stick it down probably about twice so it's not too tacky. I feel like I'm losing my voice, so if my voice sounds a little different, it's because, <laughs> because it's a little bit off. Okay, so we're just going to stick that there. Today we're going to be using the Beauty Creations Elsa palette. Before we start placing our colors on our lid, we're going to go ahead and prime the eye with our LA Pro Girl Concealer. And it's in the color Medium Beige, GC978. So I'm just going to take a little bit and just go across the lid. Don't really need much. Don't want too much there. And I'm going to get my concealer brush and move it around the lid just to give the lid a little bit of tackiness so the color will set in place and it will stay there all day without shifting. Now like I said before we're going to use the Beauty Creations Elsa palette. We're going to start off by picking up this beautiful blue right here and we're going to pack that brush. And then we're going to tap off the excess so that we don't have a lot of fallout. And we're just going to start packing that right on the center of the lid, building that color. So once we have that color placed, we're going to go ahead and pick up another brush. The next color we're picking up is this light blue right here. Once again, we're going to pack the brush and tap it off. And we're going to pack that right in the inner corner of that lid and then build up the intensity a little bit on it. And then lightly pull it into the darker blue just so we can get everything blending together nicely. We're also going to take that same color and we're going to dust it right on the inner corner of the lower lid. Now I'm going to pick up a blending brush and dust it a little bit underneath the lower lid just to kind of smooth everything out. Next, we're going to pick up this brown right here. We're just going to pull this right around the crease line up into the brow bone. Next, we're going to pick up a tapered brush and we're going to go ahead and pack this brush with the color black. And we're just going to work this on the outer corner and pull it up along the tape we laid down. And I'm kind of freehanding, well, I'm pretty much freehanding this. Pull it up against that tape so we can have a nice, crisp, straight line. Okay, so it should look something like this once you're done. Okay, so now I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm going to soften up any harsh edges. So, I'm just going to kind of move it around. If you hear any cracking, that's my fireplace. 
not my house for falling down. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna soften this up pretty good. That wood is really cracking over there. Also, I'm going to take that blending brush and kind of pull that black into the blue as well. Kind of soften everything up. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull this tape off. And I'm going to take a flat angled brush. I should just say a flat brush. And we're going to pick up that black again. I'm going to tight line a lower lash line all the way over to where we see a little light blue starting. Now I'm going to go in with another blending brush. And we're going to kind of smoke that out just a tad. Soften everything up. Next thing we're going to do is pick up our liquid eyeliner. You can use any brand you want. I use the Revlon Color Stay. Now we're going to add our mascara. So the lashes I decided to pair with this look are my Nadia's, and this is what she looks like. She gives you a lot of length, very flirty. She's actually one of my favorite pairs out of the collection. If you'd like to purchase your pair of Nadia's, look down below in the description box and go ahead and click on my link at www.twolavishhair.com where you can purchase all your 3D mink lashes and your lovely lavish hair extensions. So let's go ahead and pop these girls on. First, see if I like why I have her placed. And that looks pretty good, but I'm just going to pull her a little bit to zoom in. Go ahead and sit down the inner corners. Close as I can to the lash line. And then what I'm going to do is take the, the back of the lash and slightly lift her up just a tad. That way you get that nice feline shape to your eye. Now I'm going to go ahead and secure her down before the adhesive dries. Go ahead and press down a little bit the inner corner all the way to the center of the lid. And then I'm going to give her a little bump on the outer corner. That completes the look. I hope y'all guys enjoyed this eyeshadow tutorial. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell. That way you'll miss out on any of crazy wall story times or my eyeshadow tutorials. Also, look down below in the description box. I'll have all the makeup used in order to create this look, along with links where you can find those items. And don't forget to go over to Instagram and follow me at Siobhan.Richie and my business page at Too Lavish Hair. And I will see y'all guys next time. Happy New Year's. Bye.